And um, I really like doing this presentation because it's really something that I have in my heart, which is the story and the history of Davines. And uh, I'm happy that there is somebody that is willing to, to listen to what I have to share about these past few decades of Davines and the last 20 years I've been part of it, very proudly. So here we are. And here we start with the very beginning. So you see, this is the, on the left of the screen, the Bolatti family, basically when they started uh, Davines or the company that became Davines. And the picture on the right is a, obviously the most recent, much more recent picture taken from the beautiful documentary that uh, George put together tomorrow in the butterfly. And this is the family Bollati uh, today. And uh, I would like to take the opportunity to say another hi to Mr. Gianni, which is not with us right now, but um, obviously he, we are here because of his ideas and his uh, vision. So thank you, Mr. Gianni. Okay, and here we start a little journey on what Davines was, where Davines started, and what, how Davines looked like. Here we are in the early 90s. And the company was founded in 83, but before then, there is not, not even in the Davines archaeology site, I could find any pieces. <laughs> but this is a good example of Davines, what it was, late 90, beginning of the eight, uh, late 80s, sorry, beginning of the 90s. So some of these products are not even labeled Davines. So Davines was uh, making product for other company. But also here you see the logo of the D of Davines that in today images, it doesn't kind of, um, it's not that obvious, but here is really clear the message that was supposed to be the beaker of the chemist in the lab. So this is for what I've seen is the first time that this D of Davines Beaker showed up. So here for you. And here's some other product that are interesting. So the Davines logo is start to appear in more product. Look at this packaging here. And this is Papa Reale. Papa Reale is one of the iconic products of Davines. It's a product that was uh, Mr. Zani and even uh, his wife Silvana. That is um, our hero, <laughs> uh, they told me the story about this product that was basically formulated by them to help uh, Stefania, so you see it's a very family thing, because she had fine, thin hair to get like thicker and, um, and stronger hair. So they created this Papa Reale, which is the queen bee, the food of the queen bee to make thicker hair. It was very, very successful, both commercially and in performances. And some of this formula still today available in natural tech. This happened to be one of my favorite packaging of the historical Davines for tourism. First of all, because I like flowers and this is a very well drawing flower. It's like a piece of art. And also because phyto here, phyto means plant in ancient Greek. And this is the first time that you see the word plants showing up in a Davines product for what I could see. Shampoo and conditioner. I love this packaging, I really do. Okay, uh, this is another interesting product. It's actually a cleansing milk for a makeup remover for the, for, the, for the skin, for the face. So that was the beginning of comfort zone somehow. And this is the protein oil non oil. So this, like lately in the, maybe seven, eight years ago, somebody started a, a, a hairline with the name oil in it, with the word oil in it, but and, and first time ever, the oil is something that is, might be considered to be good for hair. Instead, no, because the Davines did it way before. So this is from the late eighties. So you see the Davines logo, protein, oil, non oil. And uh, this has been another iconic product. Uh, other company, believe it or not, they were uh, trying to copy this product. Does you know when you're good? When somebody's trying to copy you and they don't make it, does you know when you're good? So, and actually, I showed this picture to some uh, salespeople in, in a meeting in North America, and somebody had the idea, why don't we do like a, a sort of a memorabilia product 
and uh, vintage a, vin a vintage product with this which I kind of like the idea then the problem is the formula the formula that was then or a new one because this formula I would tend to believe that it's not something that could be very davenous today. We're talking about 35 years ago. So, you know, things have changed a bit. <laughs> okay, this is another iconic thing, 99. This is when we launched the mask with uh, <laughs> the first campaign for mask. Uh, needless to say here that we, and some of you here in this call knows her very well. So this is obviously a wig. Uh, but that was at the end of the day when they couldn't have the, I mean, look, the shine of this car and this, the, the, the hairdresser said, okay, let's get a wig, it's beautiful. And what's also cool is the discount. This is the symbol of the lira before the euro. So 5,000 lira is about two and a half American dollars. So that was the, that was the discount offered to get the intro of, um, of this mask color. Change your look with mask. Translates. Okay, a clat perms. Permanent waves. And every it's funny, this probably every now and then somebody says it's gonna come back in fashion. I'm still waiting for the past. I've been waiting for the past 35 years. I don't know if we'll ever be back. <laughs> but here we are in case, and this is still around. This is still around. Becoming, why is becoming here? Becoming, for a long time, it was, the word becoming was always in every product of Darwin, it's becoming, becoming, be optimistic, look at the future, and here we are. 40 years later, almost, here we are, with, uh, we became, I would say. So, thank you for the vision again. Natural solution, this is, the beautiful and glorious grandfather of natural tech. So originally called a natural solution, which I find it a very nice, intriguing name. Uh, I wish I could give you a bigger screen to see the hair. We're talking about the 90s for real, of these people for real, natural solution for real people. The packaging and was treatments. This is another iconic product, the defining. Homo faber fortuna sua. We put a, a sentence in Latin in this product. And styling product. Uh, back then, the structure of the line was a bit different. You're going to see something interesting. So defining was the definition of so styling. This was uh, um, the start of what today is more inside. And then we'll see how we, how we will evolve through the Davinus centuries. So this is another big change. The logo went to red in 2001. So now we live in the century, in the, the previous century, entering the new millennium with a new logo. We launched Lar de Color, which was our first a project of bleach with pigment. Here there is the wizard. Wizard was is the, the father of more inside. You want to put it that way. So launched at the beginning of the 2000. Okay, you remember defining. This is something called bio, biological and organic. Uh, another thing, like being very Italian, we came here and then uh, bio, and you know, bio sometimes in, uh, in the United States means is not a good word. And uh, so it was a bit confusing. So we had to explain every time, oh, biological and organic. We had a product, this was a honey gel, and it really looked like honey and smelled like honey, fantastic. Alchemy, obviously, again, another grandfather. This is the grandfather of alchemy. And look at this. You notice here that, the, okay, this is the shampoo, pigmented shampoo, very, very light compared to the, the actual alchemy. The load of pigment was very minimal. So this is the shampoo are the shampoos and these are the conditioner which obviously they were trying to remember the tube of mask so the idea was to have this conditioner that was the follow-up with your mask color treatment and this was the package so the tube was coming into this uh, into this box almost like a tube of color but i find interesting that the picture is in black and white <laughs> okay 
uh, multi space. Why these brochures? Because multi space was for quite some time the way that we were organizing our salons uh, for education products was four different spaces. So that's why multi space. That they were color, styling, retail, and uh, well being. So for each, uh, each space was dedicated to education, tools, material, and obviously product. So multi-space, and it was like um, everywhere. We had like a um, color cave with color space. It was nice. This is, I don't know if any of our friends here today are involved in sales, but these were the, uh, the form paper for where uh, salespeople used to take order from the salon. Normally they would come in three copies. One stays with the salon, one stays with the sales rep, the third one goes to the warehouse, pick and pack, invoiced and shipped. And today, of course, it looks a little bit strange because everything is digital, but by then they were fancy. Of course, they were diamonds. Okay, so again, volume, uh, is, is one of the cousins of defining that generated more insight. So defining was the definition, the styling. Then we had two lines, volume and another one called shine. Um, and this line were systems, as you can see, volume system. In the case per se of volume, you want, you want volume, volume, so you would have like a shampoo, conditioner and styling product to create volume. The other one was shine, so shine system, when you want to have your shiny hair. And, uh, and then the problem was when you wanted to have volume and shine, what you going to use? And then defining, so eventually we, and bio also, there were four, four cousins, shine, define, uh, shine, volume defining, and bio. And then we generated with the, the, okay, natural tech, second version of natural tech. Remember from natural solution, that was the, the next step. So nature and technology instead of natural solution. Packaging, the idea was to resembling this to milk uh, cartons. Uh, here we had ampulla made of glass, so very medical looking. So this is like the father of the today natural tech. And natural tech was also interesting because at some point you see the logo natural tech and then semi-permanent system, semi-permanent color. So CTC stands for contemporary color or temporary color. And this was a, this is uh, the father, even the grandfather of view. So this was a, a liquid color so delicate that we attempted to launch a color system within a treatment system. So, which I think is a fantastic idea still to give the perception of gentleness. So we had the color into the into natural tech. So think about it today, if you per se would be natural tech. Strange, but intriguing anyway. Okay, this is the first brochure of when we launched Essential. You were talking January 2004 first Los Angeles uh, Worldwide Tour. And uh, this brochure is very thin because when we launched Essential was maybe one third of the amount of product that we had. So Momo, Nuni, Dede, Solu, that were the, the families. Of course, we expanded quite a bit. Su, now we're gonna see a few edition of Su, which is a sun care line. Su, is sun in Aramaic. Aramaic is the language which is interesting because they're thousands of years old and some of the Bibles are the books are written in Aramaic. So it's like a very elegant old language. Okay, some more multi-space. Multi-space salon partner, which was the beginning of the sustainable beauty partner that we have today. So salons that they were part of programs when they had when they had education, special information, and so on. No much have changed. So that was the first, the first uh, elite group of salons. You see the day two thousand and four. partner. Mask. This was another launch of mask. This was, I believe, the only time that we did launches uh, mask promotion 
in, in families of colors. So we had a red, blonde, and brunette. And these were launched when we had three new shades, one new red, one new blonde, and one new brunette. And the funny part was when we launched the kids, the new shades weren't there. And nobody knew why. Uh, but then somebody says people invented the story that was something that was created on purpose to stimulate more purchases from clients. It didn't went too well. <laughs> so that was 2002. Mask light. So mask light after CTC, you remember the contemporary color from Natural Tech. This continue. We launched mask light, which then my permanent in, in cream. So it was the same tube of uh, like mask, only white, mask light. Okay, this is the first edition of the Carta Etica. The Carta Etica is the one of, one of if not the first project that our uh, GM, Paolo Braguzzi, um, brought to the, to the company when he first joined Davinus in 2004. And the Carta Etica is an amazing um, document because it is a, an expression of uh, rules, ethical rule on how to work better together, how to respect each other in a better way, and how to create a common living together. Maybe something that today is more updated than what we think with the, you know, you know what's new here. Okay, another change, back to gray in 2005. So 2001, we had the red. Now we go back to gray, davines.com, the launch of all the era. Here is me with my friend Francesca at the Cosmoprof in Bologna. And of course, it, you know, it's been a few years ago. The reason why I have this picture, first of all, Francesca has been a great colleague for many years. And uh, she's at Davines in hospitality still. And, but the reason, main reason is because of the, the second main reason is because of this amazing booth. This was the first, the first time that we had a booth of a, of a great designer. Uh, there was the, an architect, he is an architect, Shigeru Ban a Japanese architect that was the first one to create beautiful architectural work with recycled material, including these are, these are carton pipes, carton pipe that they are used to protect concrete columns in transportation. So they're like every size from like few centimeter to half a meter are huge. So he created a booth with all of this recycled material also famous because uh, being Japanese, uh, and for Japan, he get, is affected by earthquakes pretty, more often than not. And in one occasion, he was able to build a little town with uh, containers, but with air conditioning, with the logic, uh, pretty cool. Shigeru Ban, you can still, it's kind of Google the guy. Okay, this is, again, um, the multi-space. The reason why I have this picture, because of course it shows the multi-space and different collection, but particularly this picture here is 2004. And again, it seems to me updated today. It's a fresh, nice picture. It's already over 15 years old. But, you know, another way that to see Davin is working ahead of the time. Studio creativity. Uh, studio creativity is uh, the first form of artistic direction that we had in Davin. Uh, studio Creativity was a salon in Reggio Emilia, which is the city next to Parma, uh, to um, Claudio and Mauro, two great hairdressers, and uh, they were our uh, top stylists in shows. I remember them in my first full wider tour that was in Ibiza, and they were on stage. And then um, they decided to, to, you know, to go each of them in a different way. But uh, for the time that we collaborated with them, it was interesting. And again, it was the first example of artistic direction of Davines. Modi. Modi is a, a salon group chain in Milan. Uh, again, here they have their own collection, their own brochure. Uh, one thing I want to share with you, uh, Modi, the owner of this organization, he, he wrote a letter to the Prime Minister of Italy uh, complaining because they pushed back the reopening of the salon. So talking about not just a hairdresser, this guy is a good example. 
Vito Barletta, is his name. Sustainable Beauty, this is the first edition of the Sustainable Beauty magazine that we still publish. This is from 2007 and this is from 20, 2015. So still going and we have edition 2020. It's a beautiful piece. Uh, it comes out when we have something brilliant to say. So more often than not, and um, it's always interesting. Beautiful form, beautiful images, beautiful messages. So I tell you, I told you, another natural tech. So the Sun Caroline was natural tech. This time is Sun, so from Aramaic to English. Finest pigment, another incredible product that we still have in our portfolio. Deposit only, amazing. It's been, uh, this product is uh, underestimated in my opinion. I don't know if any colorist is in the call and would agree with me, but this to me is an amazing product, beautiful. And the way we, we launched it, if you, if you look like it reminds of what then we did with Century of Light. It's kind of the same spirit. Glorifying another glorious product. And that was launched to glorifying, glorifying color, hair color. So it was a system to lock the color into, into the hair shaft. And then I like to believe that it wasn't successful because with our color, you don't need it. So Laura raised the hand. So Laura, or Laura. No? Vado avanti, Jacopo. Sì, vai avanti. Laura, you can, you can write in the chat if you have any question or something to add. Okay. Let's see if she writes something. And... Yeah, if you see a question, let me know. Yep. Thank you. Okay, so 2008, again, we go to uh, another change in the logo. So from gray to, to black. I like this one. Okay, and here we start a series of images of something that to me is still today. I hope to have another one soon. But worldwide, there's two. To me, that is always amazing, it's always a joy to be at the Worldwide Air Tour. Now I know it's not the right time for it, but a few images. So this is George, George Blanco, and this is myself, and this is Carlotta, Carlotta Tridenti. And that was a party at the Worldwide Air Tour in Venice in 2008, And uh, believe it or not, we hired somebody that was from a theater, custom, you know, to, uh, for theater plays. And since we were in Venice, we really made it a Venetian night. Look at that. George was like the doge, like the, the king of Venice. You can tell. This is the venue. And I like this picture because this venue is where they have the, is the venue for the Venezia Film Festival, which is one of the most important film festivals. And I was proud to be there with Davide. On a Monday morning, that was a cool day. Okay, and here Alchemy, so some updates in products. Remember the Alchemy, Alchemy, and our Alchemy. This is a brochure that basically represents, I would think, the first official collection of Darwin. It's called Chiaroscuro, light and dark. Light, uh, Chiaroscuro is a technique in, in painting normally used with uh, charcoal or pencil to, uh, to create a sort of sfumato. Leonardo da Vinci was a master of this, at this. And anyway, <laughs> so collection, Primavera Estate, Spring Summer 2007. And again, images like basically timeless. We could be here today. Beauty will save the world. This I think, I think is the first example of when Daviness really seriously started to be part of a movement of uh, start taking care of our planet. And again, that was way before uh, it was fashionable and everybody now. So we really walked the talk 
and talk the walk before many other of you we are again still today so a series of events did you see first here anthony and liam this was an event in oklahoma uh, behind the chair.com is another shot with amy charlotte and liam a young version of liam this is George and Chiara. Oops, George in a tie. <laughs> this is Charlotte killing some time in the backstage, getting color. And these are example of brochures. So this is like uh, the first brand manual that we had. Uh, I particularly love the brochure that you see on the bottom uh, right, which is the first brochure of natural tech, sorry, of essential. Uh, sorry, the first brand presented with Essential. The reason why I like it is because the paper of the cover was like velvet silk. Amazing, that was paper. Never felt anything like it on being Very, very elegant. And I love the fact you see how small is the logo with the label like it was in the Essential Shampoo, is in the Essential Shampoo. Very nice. And now a wider tour. This is one of the oldest brochure I could find about a wider tour, which is Hong Kong. November 2001 in the University of Hong Kong, in the theater of the University of Hong Kong. And another event in Mexico 2002. Other worldwide tour Hong Kong, worldwide tour in Roma in 2002. Worldwide tour 2006. Miami, which I have a special memory on it. I'll tell you in a minute. All our different worldwide tour, Los Angeles, the second edition in 2016. Okay, this is why do I have these images here? Um, okay, the guy on the right is Anthony Mollet, which is our CEO. The guy on the left is Alberto Superchi, that today is a sales director for Davinis Italy. And the girl on, in the middle is Elena. And Elena used to work with us, uh, met Anthony, and they now have a beautiful baby. And uh, uh, he, again, it shows that Darwin is, I tell you, there is an army of baby, baby. some of them are kids or, or boys or girls by now, that they are here with us, be, thanks to Darwin, because they, their parents, they met with, uh, at Darwin, through Darwin, Darwin events somehow. Darwin was involved, so company of love. Alberto is married too. I don't think he met his wife through Davinus. No, he did. Okay. This is me and Anthony. We have particularly like this picture to us. Long time ago. Here we have a few people that you might recognize. Oops. We have Stefano Moglia, Jason Sherwood, which is a very good friend of mine from Australia. That was the first person to sell Davinus in the US. A long time ago. George Blanco and Brian at the party, obviously. And this, here I am with my great friend, Iris. Iris is a person I know even before my time at, uh, at Davines. And uh, if I want to laugh, I'll call Iris and somehow we managed to have a good laugh. So I know Iris if you are with us now, but thank you again to be special. Here, another great friend of mine, also great, Okay, let's put it this way. A great artist, I, I'm happy to call a friend. This is Anna, the Anna Pacito you never see, with no heels, no makeup, in jeans, but working hard. This is when she works. And this is a backstage of a Reykjavik Worldwide Tour. Trying to rehearse with the girl. It's always a tough work. This is talking of Anna, this is the show in London. And I believe that was the first worldwide tour that we had on a Pacitan stage, 2014. And this is worldwide tour Miami. And this is a special one because it is where I met my wife, Sylvan, at the party of the, of the worldwide tour Miami at the Nikki Beach. When I enter like this, the girl on the left is Chiara Razzini, she's our color marketing director and um, dress up like Don Johnson, thinking of being original and 
when I enter somebody said, welcome Don Johnson number 65. And there were more Don Johnson pe than people, but that, I don't know. My wife, Silvana, saw me like that and she fell in love. <laughs> Here she is, and Silvana on the left and Charlo with the color Don on the right. It wasn't the same party that was later, the later time, but yeah. I met this beautiful lady in Miami. Now she is in Miami. Okay, another great long historical product. I uh, I love everything about this product. Um, okay, I'm a sales guy. Of course, you know why I love it. But also, I'm not just that. It's not about the money. <laughs> I love the messes. I love the packaging. I love the product. So I, our best seller. Okay, this is a good time. Again, with Iris, I told you every time I see her, she's laughing. Enrica and Chiara again. So we have a good time. I tell you, Dan, you have a good time. Look at the next one. This is Anthony. Iris is still there for offshore, for sure. Party time. This is another moment of representation is me. And to me, in Chiara, on the stage, I think it's San Francisco, the Heron stage. And this is having a good time. This is a great picture. There's a lot of people that you can that you recognize. Uh, Stefano, Gianmarco, Ariane, George Love, Iris, obviously. Angela Casella. Okay, uh, this is like the recent, uh, recent past. Mask with Vibercrom, our new color from Mask. Circle Chronicle. I'm sorry if you're in the bag. Okay. Uh, Circle Chronicle, a product, honestly, I think today is actually very cool to have a product like this. Because think about it, this is like immediate treatment. So in salons, they can really do a good thing with retailing. Or you should have a... You know, a serious thought about this product here. Thank God we have it. I sustain beauty. The reason I want to point this out, sustain beauty is I believe one of the best projects ever is a way to, to represent what Daviness is, basically helping people. And what we do is beauty. So helping people through beauty, but not just for beauty, you know, to help them in serious, not that beauty is not serious, but you know, there is not just uh, the beauty. Beauty is many things, and we have to, you know, we have so many ways, we know so many people, we have so many connections with it. It's an easy one. B Corp, another great achievement. You all know what this is. I always invite people to, to dig a little bit more if they don't know about B Corp, because I believe there is a lot to learn, and not just for the business standpoint, in many ways. Uh, World Wider Tour 2018, a special edition because of the village, it was an amazing World Wider Tour. We had doubled in the amount of people that we had on average, 3,500 people. The village was open on that occasion, two years ago in Moscow. Maybe. <laughs> Beautiful space. Is anybody listening from the village as we speak? Hi, in case. Okay, this is Worldwide Tour Parma with Maria Vittoria. Here is Ray Kjavik, our last Worldwide Tour that was past May. This is me with Paolo. <laughs> yes, Paolo, it's your turn to talk. Yes, yes. Here I'm with Davide, and I like this picture of Davide, he's having a great smile, and you know, at the end. If he has that smile, it's good for everybody, right? And this is the latest log of Davines, the last change that we actually launched during the Worldwide Tour in Parma. The main change is, as you know, the graphic uh, makes it look more like artisanal. I think it's a very, very good job. And this is uh, my chow. So it's a beautiful sunrise over a peak. We are going through a, a rough. We had the peak to climb, it's not rough, we just have to climb it, but on the other side there is a beautiful sunrise and the story will continue. To be continued, guys. So thank you. 
Thank you for your time. Do we have any question, Jacopo? Uh, let me check. Jim Morrison has if the video will be available. Uh, I think we will upload everything on YouTube Davines Education within the end of the week. And uh, other than that, no. They just thank you and say bye. Okay. Thank you so much again. I'm really, you know, I'm really happy to share this thing with you and thank you for, you know, taking the time. Hope to see you soon.